Hi, everyone. I'm here to give you a brief uh, demo on the point of sale and POS system of the IOCell all-in-one system. As you can see here, the IOCell PMS has all, all particular aspects of running a hotel. Uh, you must have seen separate videos on the stay view, the rooms view, and all the rooms related activities. But in this video, we will focus on the point of sale section of the IOCell all-in-one system. So the point of sale system is usually you can configure as many point of sale uh, 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 units or outlets as you want in a particular hotel. What we have is a very simple, very easy to use and a no nonsense point of sale system. So for this particular hotel, for example, we've configured a restaurant, a bar, a banquets, a room service and a coffee shop. All these are separate point of sale systems. So, for example, if you look at the bars and if you look at the bills from yesterday, we have um, so right in this uh, point of sale screen, the first section is the one where we give you a summary of the of the point of sale system. So, for example, if we do the date from yesterday to today, we have total sales, we have month to date sales, we have number of orders um, and the average sale value uh, per ticket size. Then you have current orders. Now current orders, some people also refer to orders as KOTs. So you can refer to orders as KOTs. This is the current active orders that we have. And this is the build orders where we convert a particular KOT into a bill. And we'll try to go in through uh, all the details and, and go through it one by one to give a better idea. So, uh, so let's get started. We have the ability first, now we've deliberately tried to keep it all in one screen to make it very simple and, uh, and easy to use rather than split the entire point of sale into multiple screens. The way to do it is to create a current order. You can create an order. Uh, you can create a regular order, which is a regular KOT or a complementary order, which is a NC KOT. But for the sake of this video, we'll only create a regular order. So for example, we want to assign this particular KOT or an order to table number 10. So suppose we have uh, somebody who's come in on table number 10 and they want to order all the categories that we've configured in the point of sale system will automatically show up here. So suppose they want to order a particular drink, suppose they want to order Smirnoff uh, vodka. So uh, here they want to order uh, a vodka, you want a two, of, uh, two Smirnoff vodka, you can add that. Suppose they want to order some food along with it. So you can have, let's say, some chili cheese toast that comes along with it. So this is typically how it's very simple and easy to use. You create the KOT, you add, select any particular category, you select any particular service, you add quantities, you add to them, and you submit it. Once you submit it, the particular KOT or the order is created here. You can always go back, edit on it. You can delete a particular KOT item or you can add anything more to it. So suppose I wanna add uh, another 100 pipers to it, for example. So I can add any item to it and submit it again. As you can see, the current order will keep on refreshing as and when you keep adding onto it. You can view the particular order at any time. This will give you a small view. You can edit it at any time and you can, um, uh, and you can uh, uh, use it as you go along. Another thing you can do is you can add payments. Usually payments are not added before the bill is created because when the KOT is, is generated, you want to uh, keep adding on to the particular KOT until you are ready for billing is when the customer uh, at the particular table comes back and tells us that, okay, we want to bill the particular customer. At that time, suppose we want to bill it, we can click this bill button and it will move on from current orders to the build orders. Now, because this is a, a, a current uh, 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 point of sale system. I'm not going to actually build this order, but I'm going to go on to a build order. So suppose we have this particular build order, which happened yesterday. Now here you can see if I view this particular order, there were a particular few things ordered. I can view a build order where any GST number or a billing detail, it will automatically generate a bill detail. And you can choose to select any printer. So if you have a particular a POS printer attached and installed onto this particular system, uh, then you can choose to print that order from there. Another thing worth noting is that suppose now I have built a particular order and I want to add a payment to it. I could add many types of payments. I could add cash, credit card. If I want to add it as a bill to company, uh, uh, automatically any existing companies show up, I can select from there. Another useful point is I can add a particular build order to a room bill. So suppose this is a POS bill that has been created, but now I want to attach it to the room. The payment of this bill will be done by the room. I can say add to room bill. 
all my checked in room numbers will automatically show in there. So suppose I want to add it to room number 424. I want to attach a particular comment or I want to attach any particular file to it. I could do that and I could submit, which would mean that the particular bill has been paid for and the bill is attached and it will automatically show up in that particular room for you. Right. So here you can see that once the bill is recorded, you will have a balance showing at zero. A balance showing at zero means that the particular bill has been a POS bill has been paid and it, is, it can either be paid by cash credit card or we can shift it to a particular room. So this is a quick overview of how a POS works. As we say, most of the items can be done in one screen. You can attach any KOTs we want. We can bill them. We can attach payments to them. We can shift them to a particular room. Now, in addition to that, we have a few reports. So we can, for example, see a report of all item consumption. So for the particular time selected, all the items that are being selected or being consumed will show up here. We could even have all payments. So any payments that have been made will summarize here. So we know for a, from 4th of October to 5th of October, all cash payments, bill to company payments, wallet, credit card, and, and so on and so forth. A lot of these POS related items will also show up to you in your PMS reports. So here you have a POS report, you have um, uh, any void reports. So all of these will show up. But hopefully this gave you a good enough overview of how the POS works in the IOCell all-in-one PMS system. Thank you very much.